Hi guys, uh, Priya is going to man this PowerPoint slide uh, because uh, she's going to be doing all the mouse clicking today. I'm just going to do some initial speaking at the beginning. First, I would like to say um, I'm happy to be back. Uh, I've been involved in a lot of these webinars and uh, haven't been in one for a while. So uh, for those of you that go to all of our webinars, you might have heard me speak before. So today uh, we are going to talk about the 3DCS viewer top of the pyramid. Um, if you've been following us, you know that uh, we are going down the road of a scalable solution with, you know, you can see the bottom of the pyramid that is, you know, our flagship product, which has all the capabilities, uh, iteration moves, uh, all kinds of measurements, um, user DLLs, Basically, you can model anything you want inside our variation analysis. But then, you know, to try to specialize, if you, you know, if you're mainly dealing with mechanical joints, we now have a uh, another package called MVM, which Ben mentioned is going to have a webinar on it coming up in March, and DVM, which we had a um, a webinar on that. And so you can see, you know. DVM is for entry level. The idea is people that are getting into dimensional management, you know, they could start out with DVM so that they're you know, not overwhelmed with the mass capability of our main package and then migrate, you know, down to MVM or VA, you know, or you could have a couple of VA specialists and, uh, and multiple people using DVM. Um, because anything that's done in DVM can be opened and enhanced with MVM. Anything in MVM can be opened and enhanced with VA. And then the top of the cube is the viewer. This is a um, new product that allows anybody to navigate through a pre-existing model. The idea, the idea here is, you know, typical organizations, they have you know, analyst groups that are doing the tolerance analysis, but the tolerance analysis or dimensional management, you know, they're the link between all the different divisions in the company, manufacturing, styling, stamping, you know, you name it, dimensional management affects all of them. And so the idea is with the viewer is we want to let more people see what was done in the 3DCS tolerance analysis model. Next slide. And then of course, um, the viewer is in all of our platforms, Multicad, IKEA, V5, V6, NX, Creo, SolidWorks. <clears throat> so um, anyone, using our product in any of the platforms can utilize the viewer. <clears throat> Next slide. So what are the benefits of the viewer? <clears throat> the idea is to get people outside of the dimensional management department or group to start getting involved with tolerance analysis. We want to improve the collaboration between the modeling team and all the other stakeholders in the um, company. I learned this new word called democratization, and that is to make accessible to everyone what we or you are doing in the dimensional um, simulation group and allow everybody else to, you know, kind of see how is the model built? How is it deviating? What tolerances did you use? Where are you measuring it? And so the viewer is a, a way to proliferate dimensional management along uh, outside to the uh, rest of the community. Next slide. So inside the viewer, it allows you to open any 3DCS model including compliant model or mechanical model or, or any of our add-on add-ons um, like AAO of course you know you have to have those licenses to open up a compliant modeler in the viewer 
and it allows you to animate, deviate, and view all the contents in the model. You won't be able to change any of the contents because, of course, you know, we don't want anybody mucking up a finished model, but you can review the measurements, the moves, the tolerances, and you can load previously produced results and deviate that model to its min, max. Actually, you can just deviate it, sweep it, and you can use the visualized effect to study how any one tolerance is affecting a critical measurement. And then optionally, if you have the AAO license, then you can also change tolerances in the model and see instant effects on all the other measurements. So if you see down at the bottom here, it's got a list of the icons. You know, all of your all of your graphic animation icons are available, build, separate, animate, deviate, turn points on and off. Um, <clears throat> so basically you have everything available to you except creating moves, creating tolerances, creating measures, or editing them, other than editing the tolerance of value within AAO. Next slide. So taking it one step further, um, because we are integrated in all the CAD packages, and the CAD packages also usually interface with a database system, Team Center, Windchill, Anovia, SolidWorks Enterprise, PDM. The idea is anybody that has access to the PLM system will be able to open up any model with the DCS viewer and look at any results as far as PowerPoint docs, HTML reports, anything that is stored in the PLM system, of course, that's related to the 3DCS model, can be opened up from the viewer. Next slide. So Priya, she is going to be demonstrating the viewer in an X today. And so we are going to be integrating with Team Center. And this just kind of goes to show you that um, 3DCS only stores the data in the top level of your assembly in the Team Center. We pull parts from Team Center so that you can see your full model, but we don't store any data on the parts. <clears throat> Thank you. I didn't even know what to say. I didn't want to say next slide. <laughs> so, so you can see here that anything that's done in a 3DCS model that generates any kind of reports, that can go into the Team Center. Click it again, Priya. From the Team Center, you can open up those reports in any of the uh, you know reporting capability that we have. And then all of that can go into the viewer. So the idea, let's say I'm the modeler. I did a full blown 3D CS model in NX. I created all these reports. I save my model in Team Center. I also save my reports in Team Center. And because it's in the database, I'm working in Troy, Michigan and somebody else that can link to the database in India, he could open up the viewer, open up the model and pull in reports and analyze, you know, how was this thing put together? So actually, I, I think I kind of went backwards because a lot of times the work is now being done in India. And if I'm here and I want to analyze what the guy, what the modeler did in India, then I can pull it up from Team Center with the viewer without having to um, actually have a full-blown 3DCS license. 